Now, Carl, you said the new sign-in page made you nervous. Did anyone else feel nervous? <laughs> I eat the fish. I understand you eat the fish. But when you clean the fish, you can't just leave the fish head and guts and shit in the sink because the whole house smells like a bait station. So you gotta put it in the trash and then take the trash out. Do you understand? Yes, I eat the fish. Motherfuck! Yes. And tomorrow is trash day, so make sure all the cans are out front. Yes. Now, you are under no circumstances to order any movie on demand, adult or otherwise? Yes. Okay, has anything that I've just said confused you? Yes. God damn it! Jesus, Cher, are you bringing your whole closet? I'm a pro, Dinesh. I won't apologize for it. I dress according to the moods that I sense in the room. As such, I must have options. We all packed and ready to go? We can take my car, but gas is on the company. Hello? Did everyone leave? No. What? Jared, we were supposed to get a term sheet today. Have we heard from Peter Gregory? Peter Gregory is dead. What? Oh. This morning, you put your soda cans in the green one, okay? That's not right. The green is for grass and leaves, okay? The blue one is for recycling. Go ahead and put those in there. Yeah, very good. The black one is for all other trash. Do you understand? Yes. Which is for burning? No, we don't burn trash in this country. It's illegal. You never burn trash, okay? Can you say that? I never burn trash. I never burn trash. Yes. W what about garbage? Motherfucker. Yang, don't talk to anybody else. When we get inside, don't talk to me. Evening. Yes, Steve. Thank you. And how will you be paying, sir? Excuse me? Your donation. What's your preferred method of payment? Oh, uh, no. These are already paid for. We're guests of Russ Hanneman. Uh, yes. He reserved the tickets, but you have to pay for them. Oh, uh, okay, how much are they? 25,000. Um, so for, for, for both? No, 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 per ticket. Uh, there's no possible way that we can pay that, so what do we do here? Well, there are a number of other ways to help preserve the Muir Woods. We do a volunteer cleanup program every weekend. Yeah, I don't give a shit about the Muir Woods. I need to get in there. Sir, if you can't pay for the tickets, I really don't see how that's possible. What if we do, like, a little in and out thing? I just go in there, 10 minutes, you know, have one cocktail, two, three maximum. He doesn't eat, he won't eat. Yes, I'm hungry. Gentlemen, I'm gonna need you to move aside for the other guests. You want me to email Russ Hanneman right now? Please, you don't please. have Russ's email. But I have his, I have, I have the phone number of the person who works in his office. Does anybody have an extra ticket? My investor cannot pay? That's actually not true. Uh, uh, they, I think they must have misplaced the tickets. No, we have everyone's tickets here. Can you please check, Eric? Bachman, E R I C A. -R. That's not at all how it's spelled here. Right, let's go, Jen. Have right, a nice go, night. Jen. Thank you. So, come on. Next. Come on. Excuse me. Come on. Let's go. Do you have a ticket? God damn it, Jin Yang. Come here. Do you have a ticket? Hey, Jin Yang. How was, uh, how was last night? It was sad. Eric, he promised me dinner with a big meat. Big meat? Big meat people. Meat people? Then people say, no, you can't come in. Wait, so you guys didn't get in? We went to Taco Bell. Eric, he starts crying in Taco Bell. He tried to play my taco sauce. You smell something burning? God damn it, Jin Yang! Do we have any extra power strips? There's not a lot of outlets out there. There are a lot of dudes playing foosball, loudly. I'll take care of that, say no more. Jin Yang, I need all of your guys out of there, and the foosball table. Those are not my guys. 
But they're always around. Who are they? Friends of friends. They're friends of your mother fuck. Monica? Did you forget about Jin Yang and I's pitch? No, it was on my phone. You're talking to Benson or Hedges? <laughs> Am I right? Cigarette company. Clever. <clears throat> what if I told you there is an app on the market? No, not, not That's now. A no, 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 you wait until you're inside, OK? We, we haven't even gotten the bottle of water yet. Head in. I'll meet you in there. I just need to finish this call. Sure. Cool with a K. OK. Water. What if I told you there is an app? Jing, Jing oh. Yang, this is the assistant. We wait for the boss to pitch. The woman oh. you saw outside, OK? Oh, the, the lady who was smoking. You said a no. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Monica was smoking? Cigarettes? Cigarettes. No, no, no. Uh, he's confused. He's a Chinese. He's talking about this crack addict prostitute we saw at the gas station. She was smoking cigarettes. So sad. Oh. Jin Yang, what are you doing? This is Palo Alto. You people are lunatics about smoking here. We don't enjoy all the freedoms that you have in China, right? Where people smoke all the time. I don't smoke, except for special occasions. So you do smoke? Wait, have you been smoking in my house? No. There's no special occasion ever happen in your house. Looks good. Oh, today is a great day. What is he doing? A special occasion. You, you brought cigarettes in here? No, I take it from her purse. Been next month. Actually, uh, shit's pivoted. I need a place next week. Next week? Oh, shit has pivoted. Well, I'll talk to the current tenant. Let him know the time has come. Mother. Fuck. Uh. Yeah, put him on a slow boat to China, so to speak. I'm sorry. This is a Japanese tradition and that you are Chinese. I'm not racist. Yes, Japanese people are racist. They are horrible. No, no, no. Jin Yang, in every relationship, there are ebbs and flows. Ebbs? Yes. And although we have flowed, our relationship now has come to a permanent ebbing. Flow. No. No. We have come to a permanent ebb. Do you understand? So you want me to leave the house? Yes, yes. Very much so. And so I thank you for our today. Now you bow. All the way to the waist. N no. Okay. Thank you, Eric. Goodbye, little one. I'm gonna miss you. Can't say it wasn't fun, Jin Yang. You little Cantonese bastard. Hey, you like this? What are you doing? Hi, my name's Eric Bachman. I'm a lion. Who are you yelling at? We're the only two people in the fucking house. Eric, a liar! You're not gonna get me to change my opinion about What the fuck? What? Jin Yang, Jesus Christ. Don't sneak up on people like that, you devious little bastard, especially if they're cleaning glassware. You kick me out, but you let him stay. He's a now even an NQB. No, he's not, and he's not staying in the house. He's in the garage, like a sad bag of potting soil. Have some compassion. I mean, the guy rented his place, some fuckhead tenant who won't leave. Jared is fucked, Jin Yang. He can go to the police. It's useless. California law gives landlords literally no recourse. So he can go to court. Of course he's going to go to court, you four-eyed turd. But in America, the legal system doesn't work very well, so it'll take at least a year for the proceedings to even begin. Do you understand that? Yes. I stay here for one year. I pay no rent. You have a no recourse. That's not always the case. I mean, sometimes court systems can move faster, especially if you I'm have the money for I'm going to smoke it. in my room. Oh. Special occasion. Motherfucker.
be focused is chronicling our demise. Jin Yang. Eric Bachman, is your refrigerator running? This is Mike Hunt. Here, I'm getting another call. Hello? Eric Bachman, this is your mom, and you, you are not my baby. Not now, Jin Yang, not now! Go back into your room! Richard, I'll expect you off the premises by end of day. Monica. I'll see you later. You know you can stay here for one year. Free rent. Jin Head. Big head. Go for Ehrlich. Erica Bachman, this is a you as an old man. I'm a ugly and I'm dead alone. I'm gonna let him have this one. All right, uh, well, I'm sorry to hear that, future me. What a terrible thing. I'll talk to you in several years. You're up. Always blue, always blue, always blue, always blue, always blue. It's hards on. What? Hards on, not hard ons. It's a syntactical error that I could have remedied if you would just give me the space to speak. Ehrlich, seeing you Thursday, right? You better believe it. Can't wait for it. For, uh... For Jan Yang's pitch. His new idea sounds super exciting. Yes, well, he is white hot right now, and that's why I had him reach out directly, and we can't wait to picture the idea that it's gonna be pitched to you. Great, I'll see you then. You have no idea what it is, do you? Not a fucking clue. The point is, Jin Yang, you don't set pitches. I handle the scheduling. That's the symbiosis of our relationship. No. What do you mean, no? No. Jin Yang, Piper Chat has some real heat, okay? And we can draft off of that, but it has to be a carefully choreographed dance. You can't just wiggle your little tush and expect every VC in the valley to get hards on. I am your lead investor. You will respect me as such. I do not respect you. You're not a, any kind of investor. You own nothing. I own 10%. You live in my incubator. No, you evict me. I evict uh, your 10%. What are you talking about? Santa Clara Sheriff's Department vacate or be forcibly removed. To be fair, Jin Yang, I filed this when I had no expectations that the system would work. Okay. Jin Yang, just tell me, can you just tell me what the idea is so I can gauge how aggressively I should pursue it? So we're in agreement. For a 10% stake in your current venture, you will receive full pool privileges, more room in the CRISPR, and you may live in my home for... For free? For free for six months. Fuck you. One year. Fuck! Fine. Fine. It's a deal. Deal. Jin, I mean, your onerous terms notwithstanding, I'm very excited to be a part of your VR play. VR? VR, virtual reality. Who's it doing VR? You are. That's what Big Head said. This play has to do with the Oculus, right? No. But he said that you said Oculus. He said you kept saying it, Oculus, Oculus, Oculus. Octopus. No. No. Octopus? It's a water animal. I, I, I know what an octopus is. Just what does your application have to do with octopus? Eight different ways to make a Chinese recipe octopus. So I just traded one year of free rent, full pool privileges, and more room in the CRISPR for an application that is just eight recipes for octopus? Hmm? Yes. Hey, guys, they're ready. Question for you. What's a better than octopus recipe? Answer for you. Eight recipes for octopus. My grandmother gave me a family recipe before she died in a horrible way. Wait, what? Sorry, we knew Jen Yang's app was in the food space, but we assumed that it was camera-based. Like, you take a photo of food, the app returns nutritional information uh, or recipes or how it was sourced. Yeah, like Shazam for food. Exactly, uh, but this, I mean, this is... Shazam 
for food. No, sh Shazam's are not my vision. Of course, they know that you're not pitching Shazam. That already exists. This would be a Shazam for food. No. Sorry, language barrier. You speak Mandarin? Anybody? No? That's not Mandarin. He's a stickler for the accent. No, my apple is a seafood, like a food that you in can the see. Sea. Oh, seafood. S E E food. Oh, seafood. Now, that we like. Seafood is like a food in the sea. If all goes well, it is the beginning of the era of Ehrlich Bachman and his funky Asian dude friend, Jin. Jin? Jin Yang! Coleman Blair and Associates just offered us a seed investment of $200,000 for the Shazam of food. All we have to do is dazzle them with the demo on Monday, and uh, the check will... What the fuck? Is that my vintage Corona Club beach towel? Yes, um, I was in the pool, but I got out. That's a beach towel, not a pool. And a... Where were you? I was referring to you as my funky Asian friend. The passenger door's all fucked up. I told you there's a no demo. I'm making my recipe app. You're gonna walk away from $200,000. You know who walks away from that kind of money, Jin Yang? Richard, a crazy person. Crazy? No, opposite. He walked away from $10 million. Now look at him, wet pants, stealing towels, babbling about technical issues that he can't solve. I am one computational trust issue away from solving this thing. Is this how you wanna end up? No. He's a cautionary tale. <laughs> nope, not true. Not a cautionary tale. Got a lot of work to do. I'll be in the pool. Not crazy. To seafood. To seafood. And to a fully expensed meal on Raviga's tab. And to you, Ed Chen, who pulled the wool over Lori Bream's eyes and got us two hundo thou, sight unseen. Well, she had some concerns about getting into business with you again, but I can pretty much talk that broad into anything. Ha! <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> <laughs> You're coming like Eric. <laughs> what does that mean? It, it's a little term of endearment we have around the house. Uh, a confident man. He sees me as a confident man and he looks up to me. You know, you have to be patient with him because he's a bit of a moron. Moron? No, no, no. I mean, he's not in tech. And how about this palapa? Huh? Are we in the islands or what? Sorry, I. This app isn't gonna suck, right? If it sucks, it's my ass. You guys have a working demo. Right? <laughs> uh, uh, we're gonna slow down on the, uh, the, the, the servings for the little one. So he's from China, a, a small town, not used to our big city liquor, and no, 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 no. Jinyang, this is a very important thing. You have to give us a unique app. No, we don't have a demo. No, why? Boys, boys, let's speak in English. It's the law. I want to do it. It's a Zhang Yu Shipu. Zhang Yu Shipu. I heard it. I'm a big fat of fucking asshole. Okay, now, that's that's me. Why would I call myself a big fat asshole? The liquor's gotten to the little fellow, and I wouldn't listen to a word he has to say. Hey, Ehrlich, you want to guess who's on this list of availables that Richard just got from his recruiter? Who? Your boy, Jin Yang. What? What? Jin Yang! You already have a fucking job, Jin Yang. You have to finish seafood. Now get to food scraping. I fucking hate the seafood. I have to look at different hot dogs. There's a Chinese hot dogs, Polish hot dogs, a Jewish hot dogs. It's fucking stupid. Well, here. Here's one more for you. Wonderful. See, hot dog. It doesn't even fucking work right. Then you should hire someone using company money, not to build a roof over nothing. The palapa was budgeted for, Jin Yang. That's what you do when you get funding. You upscale your workspace to help with recruiting. You just said that you'll recruit no one. Because we spent all the money on upscaling. Why? Why is this so confusing? You're stealing. If you can't steal, I can't quit. I have meetings at Periscope, Airbnb, good companies. The fuck you do. We still have $150,000 of Raviga's money left. That's three months of burn. So, until we are dick up and flat broke, this is your life. Get to it. This is no life. I want to live. Erase that dick picture. 
yin yang. What in the good fuck is that? It's called business expense. You buy a hut. I buy a car. You say, keep doing seafood until money is gone. No, the money is gone. Dick is up. Where'd you get those sunglasses? Did they come with a car? It's from your mom. Listen, Jin Yang, you can't just blow the rest of our runway on a Corvette. Who's gonna scrape the internet? Four speakers all system. It's way loud, way expensive. The fuck was that? Oh, just three months of runway being driven off by 90 pounds of asshole. Spoken by a 280 pound pile of shit. You apologize? In this case, yes, I apologize. Who am I to advise you on your very valuable company? It's time to let you go, like a bird. So, go out there without me. Make your recipe app. Take your meetings. Live. That being said, since there's no cash to buy me out, I propose this. Allow me to keep the palapa and give me the vet. You're cashing out? Dinesh? Stay out of this, please. Car and a hut for 10%. It's a palapa. OK, it's a deal. You know, the car was a mistake. I was driving next to a store window, and I stop and look in my reflection. I look like an asshole. Yes, I'm sure it was just the car. A little piece of advice regarding American culture. A Corvette takes a certain sort of man to be able to pull off, like a fedora. Anyway, keys. Oh, and uh, now that I'm out of the company, you'll need to tell Monica what transpired. Thank you. Gentlemen, I'm off to be out and about in the vet. Be back for supper, that is, of course, unless I get fucked to death by the fair sex. This is quite the baby shower. But you think you're some big swinging dick now that you're getting invited to all these fancy VC soirees? Yes, my dick is very enormous. And my app made Ravi got a lot of money. And I still pay no rent. Nobody likes a braggart, Jin Yang. Hey, guys. Hello, congratulations. You're pregnant. No, 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 she, no, she, no, no, mm -mm. You want me to join the frat house? Unfortunately, in this climate, Monica, you either bro down or you go down. Monica. Lori is also pregnant. Jin Yang, are you drinking creamer? It's a half half. Monica, you've got Ehrlich. I'm here with Jin Yang, and uh, he just told me that you traded 10% of the company for a used car and a. A hut. A hut? A palapa. And so what? What do you mean it's a half a million dollar palapa? I'm Emily Chang. This is Bloomberg Technology from San Francisco. In a moment, we'll be talking to Techonomy CEO David Kirkpatrick about the social media phenomenon sweeping the vegan meat industry. But first, we have seafood founder and CEO Jin Yang. Sorry, Mr. Jin, Mr. Yang? It's a Mr. Jin Yang. Okay. Uh, Mr. Jin Yang, you just sold your company, Seafood, to Periscope, and we're hearing the deal closed at over $15 million. Can you confirm? I am a very rich. My sources at Periscope tell me the tech is quite impressive, and your app uses the same machine learning to recognize if a food is a hot dog? And a not hot dog. It's a very important. It's a hot dog, not hot dog. It's technology. Excited to see it in the App Store. I'm told it's releasing today. For free? Because uh, I'm rich. Speaking of, I understand investor Ehrlich Bachman left the company just before the Periscope sale. Care to comment on this? Uh, yes. Eric is a stupid investor. He has no money. Now he's a poor. 
Okay, thanks so much for stopping by. Yeah, uh, Eric is a poor, sad man, and uh, he's uh, very fat. You know, is, uh, Eric, uh, do you speak Mandarin? Yi Dian Dian. Eric is a punk. That uh, it, it means a fat ass in the Chinese. Uh, and uh, he's a liar. He's a he's a, just a con man, and he lies to everyone. Eric Bachman is a lie in a uh, person. We appreciate your candor, Jin Yang, founder of Seafood. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Emily Chang. This is Bloomberg. This one. This one, this one, this one. I get it, Jin Yang. The refrigerator is broken. The ice cream is a melting. Let me guess, is it because it's warm? Yes. Fine, I'll call the repairman and he'll come here and fix it post haste. No, I want a new fridge, a smarter fridge like this. $14,000 for a smart fridge? Unlike you, I now work for a living. I'm not gonna drop that kind of dough on a fridge. I ordered it already. I buy it for myself. Then why are you talking to me about it? To make you feel bad. Because you're fat and a poor. <clears throat> this must be the new fridge. You like this? Look, it has a screen so you can see all the food that's inside. Mm-hmm. Kind of like that one? This one has an app so you can actually watch the food on your phone. All it needs to do is keep my fucking beer cold. Hmm, you're running low on beer. Fuck you. Whoops, did you forget to scan that barcode? Yes, I did. On purpose. Ah, there we go. It's bad enough it has to talk. Does it need fake vocal tics, like, uh... Well, it just makes it sound more human. Humans are shit. This thing is addressing problems that don't exist. It's solutionism at its worst. We are dumbing down machines that are inherently superior. Whatever you give your server a human name, you named it Anton. Yeah, but Anton doesn't call me anything. He grimly does his work, and he sits motionless till it's time to work again. We could all take a page from his book. Uh-oh, that yogurt is expired. Say, this could have killed me. Now I can give it to Eric. Hello, my co-friend. Hello? Huh, suck it, Jian Yang. Hmm, ah, huh. huh. You attack and destroy my refrigerator? And you misspelled my name. I did. I had to overclock Anton, but I was able to brute force the backdoor password to that chrome piece of shit in under 12 hours. But I added a little visual flair. Huh, suck it, Jian Yang. Which I am a part. You're not seriously thinking of going to Tibet. You're broke. How the fuck are you gonna pay for that? That's where you come in. My great friends, I figured we might pass the hat. Just give whatever you're comfortable with. I'll pay for it, whatever it costs. Well, it seems the smallest of us has the biggest heart. Thank you, young Jonathan. Business class? Premium economy, you fly one way. Don't you need a visa to go to China? Yes, I can call my uncle in Beijing. He's a very corrupt. That sounded ominous, but gents, it's as I was saying, where there's a will, there's a way. Just not for you guys. Whatever. Well now, gentlemen, this is it. Goodbye. Obviously, I don't care to make a big deal out of it, so I think it's sufficient just to go around and each of you say a memory or two of times where I've profoundly impacted your life. It doesn't have to be a profound impact. We're leaving now. What? International flight, four hours early. No, international flights are three hours It's early. a no rule. <laughs> Gentlemen. OK, let's have some fun. You know, Jin Yang, the silence in the car gave me some time to think about the fact that our differences, Jesus, sorry.